So, looking on the desktop, you will see Part 2, TPMS Software Updater. When you click on Part 2, again, you might get a uh, notice that says this program might make changes to your computer. Go ahead and open it. And you'll see here the Cub Programmer window comes up. Now, what this does is this takes the information and puts it on the tool. So the first thing we should do is grab the information itself. What information are we going to put on the tool? Well, we go ahead and hit open file and it will take you to your desktop and there'll probably be a bunch of folders up here and the part three. Now the part three, it's called a hex file and it's just a file that's full of information. That information needs to go on the tool. So we go ahead and we select part three and hit open and you will see here in the update file box the actual uh, path to the file so just make sure it says part 3 tpms makes model information dot hex and for future reference that hex file in the future is the only thing you have to download you don't go have to go through all these steps so now that we've told the programmer what information it's going to put on the tool we need to go ahead and plug our tool in so let's go ahead and do that now we just plug it into USB. Make sure the other end of the USB is connected to a USB port on your computer. And you want to go ahead and power up your tool. Now, what I do is, when the tool is powered up, I press the down arrow and select update. And that will show a little update screen on the tool. And then we'll come back to the programmer here and we'll choose connect. After you've clicked connect, it's now time to click update and then update will show you a little dialogue uh, status so as you see the blue squares as they fill up the page will tell you that the update process is going along quite well alright and when it's complete you will hear a series of beeps coming from the tool itself that says it is complete and just to be certain you can look on the tool it will tell you it has been updated and excellent you now have the latest makes and models and information on your TPMS smart sensor tool so you can go ahead and exit the programmer and now looking at your files here that you've downloaded we're gonna go ahead and make it easier for next time to update your information because you've done the hard part you've got the drivers on the rest is a piece of cake so you can actually get rid of uh, part one by dragging it to your recycle bin and part three which is the information file now what I'm gonna do is take part two and right click on it and choose rename because we're going to leave the software updater on the computer so that we can do this uh, very quickly the next time. So we call it TPMS Smart Sensor Updater. There we go. So now the TPMS Smart Sensor Updater is on our desktop, easy to find. We know where to get to it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just show you how to grab the latest drivers. So let's say we go to our smartsensorupdate.com website and we get to the home page. Uh, over here in the left hand side whenever you log in in the left column there's a download center. And at the very bottom of the download center will be your le latest software update. So whenever you want to come grab a new update you get an email or notification or you just check on it and it shows you that there's a new version this version is 2.02 .02. the next version would be you know say 2.03 or 2.04 you just go ahead and right click on it choose save target as and then put it right there on the desktop and hit save it'll say your download has completed and we'll go ahead and close out of Internet Explorer again. And now all we have to do is open up our updater. And then when we choose open file, it will tell us, and you know, remember to go back to your desktop. It might show up in another folder depending on what your computer settings are. So I choose desktop, which is where I told it to download. And you will see the SS tool update 2.02, .02, which is the current version. You just click on that and you're good to go.
So that's how to update your tool and have it prepared for easy updates in the future. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to visit us at www.smartsensorupdate.com.